Um, the other thing is that Mick and David did that video specifically so that you could give something and it's not happening enough. You know, you've got to get on the phone and take the money out of your pocket. Don't go to the pub tonight. Please stay in and give us the money. There are people dying now. So give me the money. And here's the numbers. We let's read go them out. The no, we're probably going to get the address just, first, aren't we? No, let's fuck the address. Let's get the numbers because <laughs> that's how we're going to get it. I think we're going to have to have the address first. And the address which you can, you can send... <laughs> <laughs> You've just got to love Bob Gowdoff. I don't think anybody could have um, gotten away with that. Um, give us the money now. <laughs> Bob was well and truly passionate about um, this event and raising money for um, the starving people in Ethiopia. Um, I mean, this concert was truly amazing. Um, it raised uh, pretty much after 16 hours, it raised around 50 odd million pound, I believe. In total since that day because um you know, they still actually um uh, the band-aid trust still actually generates money from a range of things including um youtube videos and we'll eventually drop some links to some videos at the live from the live aid um youtube page um but that still generates money toward the actual band-aid trust which i believe goes to you know back into um helping people in Africa. But anyway, I um, get a bit sidetracked, as you can tell. Um, so this is where we're at uh, with the stage um, so far. So uh, it's, as you can see here, it's looking like an absolute mess um, out here <laughs> and all over my floor as well. Um, but anyway, so yeah, dead in the centre, we've got the the rotating stage. It's not actually fastened yet to the bottom um i'll see if i can lift this up i have added a few more tiles uh to the top of this just to make it a bit stronger so it does hold um welcome back by the way sorry i haven't even actually welcomed anybody welcome back um to my channel as we slowly uh put together the the live aid stage minifig scale so yeah this is the uh where the center of the stage will connect on and we've just got a basic just a very basic gear mechanism here and it's actually got the the technic axle which runs through to that uh that motor there i don't actually think it is um plugged in at the moment but anyway that obviously just you know turns around there and turns this this piece here I'm just going to plonk that back on the top. You can obviously see, you know, I've just used these um, these plates here, these large 16 by 16s and 8 by 16 plates, and we're obviously going to cover all that in in white tile, um, as that was the the colour of the floor. I've actually got a few pictures up here, just sort of showing the stage, just for me to use as as guides as I build it. But you can see all that white there. One thing you might have just picked up on is that this is actually going to sit a little bit out. It's not sort of built in nicely into the stage as it is there. You probably can't even quite see it because it's all completely built in. But because of, you know, it's impossible to make a perfect Lego circle because there's no circle <laughs> pieces, or round pieces, I should say. So it's a little bit obviously jagged. And to sink this into the floor here, the problem would be is that we would have big gaps sort of around here for this to be able to turn, which would look so probably more stupid. So it's actually just sort of sitting out and we'll sit plush on the tiles down here. So uh, with it, with by the time it has all its band equipment, you know, drum kits, microphones, keyboards and everything scattered all over this, you probably actually will hardly notice it, given it will all be the same colour. But anyway, that's the story with that so far so um you can see just down the front this is where obviously the the media sort of paparazzi will be down here we've got our camera section up in here we've just got one camera there so far just as a uses again as a bit of a size guide uh this little section here will be where the sound monitors or the feedback uh, monitors are got one speaker in here so far and um obviously this is obviously going to be one of the the side wings over here 
we're actually going to build this with a gap in here and a big gap here to fit in screens later on when I want, might want to change this stage to another band or something, not no longer a live aid stage. I'm just going to future proof this a little bit here because this is going to be completely covered with the live aid emblem here. So we're not going to be able to actually um, have a screen in there. The screens in the real live version are sort of out over here somewhere and big one over this side. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's going to be there sort of behind the emblem. So yeah, these are uh, these speakers will probably be angled maybe sort of that way. The sound can sort of come out of here um, because if they're facing this way like that and um, the you know, the big sheet of paper here, big sheet of photo paper with the Live Aid emblem on, which is essentially that bit right there. It's just going to muffle the sound. So, yeah, we'll have them on a bit of an angle. And, um, yeah, so we've just got this um, this sort of bit here um, as a bit of a guide in terms of helping me measure um, the height of the stage. I'm just going to zoom back a little bit there. And we're going to have the Feed the World emblem, which is sort of that bit right there coming across here like that gives gives me a bit of an idea so we can get the um the dimensions for the the um live aid emblems logos whatever you want to call it on either side which our very good friend um brace is going to help me with another great lego fan so um yeah, I'm just trying to think what else to show you guys in terms of update. Um, the plan is basically, uh, I might show you on this side, is to have this section in here all backstage area. Um, so, you know, if you're viewing it from behind, which is why I've sort of kept it black all the way around there, because I want to be able to, people to be able to have a 360 degree view of this stage if possible and they can see all the band equipment that will be that'll be in there and a bit of backstage shenanigan sort of stuff is the idea there so um yeah look i just wanted to quickly say as well this is not there was another um live aid type concert 20 years later called live eight and i did actually build that stage back in 2009 there is a video you'll see um, that it's about 10 years old now um, that has some footage of it in, but it's not very good footage. I'd like to probably get that footage again and re-upload a much better quality of it. Um, but I'll drop a quick picture of the stage in here for you to have a look at. So yeah, that stage I built back in 2009 um, and the Live 8 concert was pretty much like a 20-year follow-up. But instead of raising money, it was more about raising awareness and trying to get the G8 to drop the the debt in um, in the third world country. So um, yeah, that's uh, something else to check out on um, on YouTube as well because that too was an awesome concert. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe if you wish to keep up uh, with the updates. Should be back here um, in another couple of weeks um, with where we're at next. Hopefully get these um, these walls heightened up, you know, a bit higher up and um, give you an update of where we're at. Hope everyone is well out there. Take care and we'll chat again soon. Bye.